Are stepping out of the paddock here for the evening second race. The condition pace at one mile purse at $2,200. As we wish a happy 49th birthday to Steve Nito. Second half of the only double exact trifecta wagering. A field of nine, no changes. Number one is Noble Alex, owned by Jim Chaliff of Cincinnati, Ohio, trained to driven by Jim Daly. With the two is House of Sam, on with the Shout Stable of Pompano Beach, Florida, trained to driven by Rick Shout. Number three is Broadway Brad, owned by Charles Berry of Marshall, Michigan, trained by George Anthrop with a K-man, Kane Kaufman. The four is Sharp Steve, owned and trained by John Nelson, Perrin 11 in Ohio, J.D. Perrin at the reins. The five is Sweet Sam, owned by the bed stable of Sunbury, Ohio, trained and driven by Adam Rucker. The six is S. Cargo Bluegrass, owned by Winchester Bay Acres, incorporated of Powell, Ohio, trained by Daryl Hoosier with Ryan Goldenhand Stall. Number seven is Cruz and Sombra, owned by Beverly Bushelman of Franklin, Ohio, trained and driven by Daryl Collins. The eight is Don Van Devious, owned in partnership by the Hartley Farms, incorporated of Fremont, Ohio, and Paul Gillenwater of Helene, Ohio, trained by Mark Gillenwater, Brett Miller. And for the outside of the nine, Falcon Stahl, owned by Diane Miller of Archbold, Ohio, and Patty Roth of Wazion, Ohio, trained by Mike Roth, Bob Harper, and the Sulky. That's the field for the second race. Been moving in. The Albert starting gate swings under the back stretch, and they're getting set for a start. Field in motion. They're all fan pacing in a very nice start and flashing speed from the outside. Falcons, Thaw is sent on the go there and is crossing quickly to the pylons. Up on the outside, racing in two, that's Don Vendivius along the pylons in third, S. Cargo Bluegrass along the rail, racing in fourth, Broadway Brad away in five of the rail, Noble Alex. Sixth on the inside, House of Sam. Followed in seventh by Sharp Steve and the two trailers here are Sweet Sam and Cruz and Sabra can see them all backed off the wings of the starting gate. The opening quarter came and went in a sizzling 20. 56 and three fifths. And up top here, Falcons Thaw with a lead here, leading it by two and a quarter. Into the inside, Don Vendivius is right there, tracking that garden spot in two. S. Cargo Bluegrass is watching over the top two from third. Broadway Brad stays in from fourth there. Outer flow begins to form here. Sent first over the outside in five. Noble Alex stepping around the clubhouse turn in front of the paddock and on over to the half. Second over the outside in six. House uh, Sam staying in in seventh. Sharp Steve. Eighth and third over there on the outside. That is sweet. Sam and ninth and trailing Cruz and Sabra. They're off the half, 56 and one fifth. Off the turn and driving down the backside. Heads are pointed towards three quarters here and Falcons Thaw is trying to bottom out this field, leading it by a length and a quarter. Into the inside, Don Vendivius is sticking right with him, nose to helmet in two. And off stride goes Don Vendivius from the pocket there. First double the outside, Noble Alex to the outside, S. Cargo Bluegrass in third. Three quarters and 125 flat. They'll pay the final turn and head for home and on top Falcons Thaw is trying to make every pull a winning one leading it by a half and to the outside Noble Alex is grinding it up on two inside in third Broadway Brad at the top of the stretch less than an eighth of a mile to go and down the stretch they come Falcons Thaw will he be able to last up the inside Broadway Brad way down low here's Sharp Steve and Sharp Steve comes rolling onto the scene to get it all Broadway Brad to go second finishing third of the nine Falcons Thaw the time of the mile 155 flat, Sharp Steve in a new lifetime mark. 439 is unofficial. Track side of the winner circle, the unofficial winner of the second race, as we wish a happy 49th birthday to Steve Nito. Happy birthday, Steve. Timed at 155 flat, a new lifetime mark here. Posting the fourth win in 2004 and a heads up drive from JD Perrin. Here's the four sharp Steve, a 10 year old bake out of look sharp out of a Keystone or Mare farm. Crystal, owned and trained by John Nelson, Perrin 11 in Ohio, nicely handled here this evening by winning driver JD Perrin. The four Sharp Steve, new lifetime mark, 155 flat, comes at the hands of J.D. Perrin, returning 49.80 of 14.80, 11.40. Second of the three, Broadway Brad, 
60, 540, third of the nine, Falcons Thal, 820. 4-3 exact of $566.40. 439 try is worth $4,829.80. That's a dollar ticket. And the early double of seven and four will get you $1,478.